In the last episode, we left Adele's Grove and crossed an alternate truck route um, through to the Savannah Way, where we stopped off at Dumoji and then made our way towards Hellsgate Roadhouse, where we're about to pull in now. We stay the night, have a rest up. Uh, we're definitely very popular with the other campers. Um, all were worried about where the hell we had been, and they were hoping to Christ that they weren't going to be going in that direction tomorrow. Adele Grove this morning and we were white with just a bit of dust on us and now we are black. Well, red. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. How are you? Hey? You're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> they won't hurt you, Lucas. Now they've had their feed. Just about to leave Hellsgate Roadhouse and travel 50 kilometres across the border into Northern Territory. We then plan to travel towards Boralula, which is about 316 kilometres away. We'll find a stop along the way to camp for the night um, and then make our way the following day into Boralula. Well, we really hope that you're going to enjoy coming along for the ride as we cross part of the Savannah Way towards Boralula.
difficult though. <laughs> Except I probably can't swim in it because it's a crocodile. Caution, keep left, road train approaching. Well, after a long day on the road, we finally found camp for the night. We've just crossed the Fushilip River, uh, which you can see now just coming into the foreground. This is where we set up camp for the night. Our plan was to continue on to Baralula the following day, but we discovered that there was a station stay not far from where we were. So we decided that we would go there instead. So the following morning, we crossed back over the Fushi River, turned left and then headed north 25 kilometres to the coast to Manangura Station. It certainly ended up being an uh, interesting ride. Uh, we all got bogged. Ben first, uh, he managed to winch himself out. Uh, we went down to the axles and Peter managed to uh, dig us out with the max tracks. Um, and then we continued on with no more incidents. Um, it certainly was well worth going out to Manangura Station. We had a great time out there. Throw on the hard stuff. No, nah, not on right now. But uh, you you throw on to some hard stuff, are you? I've stopped on some hard stuff. Righty, are coming through. <laughs> Girl. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go through. Yes. Oh, 
couple of kilometers to go. What are you doing, no, Lucas? Dad did not even help me. Lucas, no, don't. You only need anyone to help because I didn't want no one helping. You didn't even help me, right, Dad? What was that, Max? Dad didn't even help me. Mm -hmm. I drive him. We come out in high range and I went just to go back into uh, two-wheel drive and we come out in two-wheel drive. Uh, Bloody hey, it wasn't a bad job, was it? <laughs> yeah, you're full of crap once again. But we did it, 25 kilometres, 
no incidents, no bogs. Yay, I'm freaking happy. And we're back to where we started. Fulshi River. Well, here we are back to the Fulshi River. We're now heading off for Boralula. As we were leaving Managura Station, we were told that Darwin was about to go into a 72 hour lockdown. So um, we extend our stay at Boralula from four to five days. And then we head out to Lorella Springs, a station stay, a million acre property where we hire two helicopters. We go fishing um, in the mangroves and on the coast. We get to swim in a pristine water hole that was only discovered about three years ago um, and so much more. So keep following along and we'll see you next time.